Hey hey everyone, it's Powell's here and I'm here with my fifth episode of my COP4 Annihilation series and today's gun is the G36C uh, As you can see here I'm using Silenced with some nice digital camo uh, Bandolier, Stopping Power and Dead Silence uh, Wrong Creek here playing a bit of free for all A very good game on this one uh, but Creek is one of the maps that does usually get skipped and funnily enough this map got brought into because the map before that got skipped so we couldn't skip it um, this map is one of probably the most disliked maps in the game as I said it always gets skipped it came along with the other three maps which is Kill House, Chinatown and Broadcast in the one and only map pack that Activision brought out for the game um, but yeah uh, I actually found this map really good for playing 3 for one um, I don't know why, but I think it was quite easy to work out where they were going to spawn people because you're not going to spawn someone in the centre of the map so what I did was I managed to work my way just around the outside of the map more than sitting in the centre um, but I thought I'd change the gameplay up for this one and I've had a few, I've played about 2 or 3 free falls I kept getting beaten by one guy that fee money bagged he kept beating me by about 1 or 2 kills which is annoying me, so uh, in this game I totally annihilated him and got myself a really good gameplay. Uh, so the G36C, let's move on to the gun. Uh, this gun is one of my favourite guns on the Call of Duty series, on Call of Duty 4. Uh, I used to play a bit a lot before I started sniping. Uh, I think I got the game... When did I get it? Crikey. It came out in 2007. I was playing mostly up to 2008 just with guns like G360 and AK-47 so this was probably one of my favourite guns and I did used to do silence on it a lot so that's why I've used it for this one but also because I want to mix it up for you and I like the gun a lot it's got a good size clip on it it's not the most powerful gun but it's also good from the hip even without steady aim as you can see in this gameplay uh, I just like the, the, the iron sight's really good on it you don't need red dot sight for it and just an enjoyable gun to use, it's quite easy to pick up and play with uh, it's not a widely used gun on the game either though because I think there's, put, there's plenty of guns that can do a similar or better job for it but it, it's a gun that you can easily get quite um, quite attracted to not in a sexual way but in a sense of wanting to play with it just, just, that's just going down the wrong road there I, I, right. basically I don't want to have sex with this gun end of okay right so as you can see here I'm doing pretty well uh, I, I enjoy playing this game and I enjoy playing with this gun easy because it's a, it's a gun that I like anyway and I found it quite easy to get a gameplay with it I knew the one was going to come around the corner so yeah so free for all is one of them game modes where I don't, I don't really play much free for all the only time I used to play free for all was when I used to play just private matches for my friends um, but yeah, on a 15 kill trip there, yeah, I like that. This one I knew, I thought, yeah, I won the game, quite easy. But um, yeah, free for all, I find that what you've got to do is as soon as you kill, you have to move. And I find that, that that's pretty much a way in a lot of game modes. You just kill and then move to the next position because otherwise that person that you killed will come back to you as well as the person before and the person before that if you're lucky enough to get on a kill streak, which is more than one or two. Um, but this map you can quite easily, there's a lot of little trees, buildings that you can just hide behind rocks, sort of stuff like that and it's one of them games, one of them maps if you play quite strategically and you, do, you, you play patiently you can easily just have a good game on it I think a lot of people where they just skip this map, people just aren't used to playing on this map but I got used to it quite quick and uh, yeah definitely enjoyed this game uh, so I've got a few more things coming out recently, I've just put out literally like half an hour before I did this commentary I put out my lot, uh, my fourth mini charge, There's some good stuff on there so go check it out um, yeah but I'm, I'm just bringing out as many videos as I can now trying to keep it all fresh and new for you guys uh, like I said in the last commentary I want to try and get through all of this before Modern Warfare 3 and I'm racking up through the assault rifles now next one will be the M14 uh, I've already like played one or two games of it after this because I tried carrying on the free for all 
And it's not a bad gun, but I'll go on to it in the next game. But yeah, basically, I, I'm not finding it as easy already. So yeah, it's going to be a little difficult. Um, so yeah, towards the end of this game, I was struggling. Like after my chopper went and my kill streak went, I was just like looking around for kills, trying to find them, and I was just struggling a little bit. I think it was because I was uh, I was expecting to get the win quite quick, and then the kills just weren't popping up in front of me, but. Yeah, nice to finish this off. I think I I ended up with like 25 for 5, which is a good score, and especially for me when I don't play free full much. Uh, well, what I'll try and do on the next game modes, I'll, I'll mix up what I'm, what attachments I'm using on the guns, what game modes. It is hard at the moment because I'm try I was trying to get a search and destroy game pair for some of these guns, but there's no one playing search and destroy, and it's it's hard for me to get obviously a game pair when there's no one in the game mode. Uh, but yeah, this has been the G360 episode, episode 5, and next episode will be M14 as I said. Thank you for watching, please rate and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much, and goodbye.